Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Tuesdays with me, Jake Britton, uh, the marketing manager here at DVS. Um, obviously, it's normally Dave I'm taking over this week. Uh, so first things first, bit of admin, just make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell and obviously be notified every week uh, whenever we create new content. So today, what are we talking about? We're talking about the Hike Vision Video Access Control. Um, so let's start with a little sorry, bit what's, of... Um, what's going on here? What? Sorry, what's, what, what's going on? Just doing the... I, I, I told you this is... It's just going to... Yeah, but I, 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 I the, told you this is my job. Yeah. Um, I, I, I'll, I'll continue the video yeah, if you want to go. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, no, no, no. no. You've got no, some emails nah. to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 See you later, I'm sure you've got some emails to go around. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See you later. Thank you. Right. I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, sorry about uh, my friend there, you know, any chance to uh, outstage anybody. So he is right, we are going to look at the Hype Vision Access Control Terminal today. The part number on this one is the DS-K1T500S. This is the intercom unit with a reader, uh, does do the QR code. There's another version that does card and fingerprint as well, this is just the card one. So, let's take it out of the box and have a look. Firstly, get rid of the phone. So inside you've got the CD, the mounting instructions and some screws and a little manual. You've got the fly leads that connect on the back of it. And you've got the video controller itself. So we'll take this out of the pack here. There's a mounting plate that screws to the wall. Then there's a, a cover flap. You unscrew that and you've got your connections there. So your network port there, it's not PoE this version. Um, your 12 volt power, your fly leads. Uh, and there is also a SIM card um, container there. What we'll do is connect it all up now because it's actually really important because after we've done this we will be going and installing it. So I'll quickly do this. There's my 12 volt one. So all our leads are connected, that goes through the wall, flap goes down and screws on to keep it secure and that screws onto the mounting plate and there's two Allen keys on the bottom there. I'll go over to our next pod, we'll fit it and we'll show you how to use it and we'll go from there. Welcome back, we've uh, installed the reader on a desk, we powered it up, it's on the network, I've actually added it to IMS4200 in preparation, thanks to Seagate for sponsoring us, um, a quick little cheeky note on that, uh, and another one is don't drop your microphone. Definitely don't drop your microphone. So what we're going to do now is, the purpose of this intercom unit is actually an intercom and an access control unit in one. The purpose of it is, it can call the IMS 4200. Um, it can call Hike Connect using the correct firmware. It can be a camera added to an NVR, and it can also be used as a fingerprint plus card reader. I've only got the card reader version, but there's a, a dual fingerprint and card reader. You can also use a QR code assigned to the user within the access control so they can present a QR code um, to the camera which will open the door so it's great if you've got visitors that you don't want to issue cards so paperless you can send them a QR code that will let them into a car park for instance or through a common visitor door and get them onto site so first thing you need to do is go into the access control We've already added an organization, so now we're going to add a person. We're going to be myself, Dave Davis, Dave at dvs.co.uk. We're going to take a photo, or well, we're going to attempt to. It's so whether my uh, PC wants to do that or not. Nope, not today. Upload picture. My pictures. Let's have a look for one. There's me. Yeah, there we go. Done. And um, we're going to add a card. It's a normal card. And then put Dave. Create password if we want. One, two, three, four, five, six. To and from period. And we're going to use the access control reader itself to administer the card. So I'm just going to go and badge on that. Okay, so you can see it's seen the card there, I'm going to stop reading, and 
and I am going to okay that sorry there's a annoying little thing in the way there we go there we go so next thing we've added the card what we're going to do now is I've shown you before how to link faces and fingerprints and how to upload face pictures etc and um, we don't need to go through like that that's another video you can go and see that again okay so we've added all that what we're going to do now is okay that we're going to go and schedule we'll leave it 24 7 permission we'll add a permission we'll call it day from dvs and add our person in we have access to the intercom and put that into that group it's a whole week permission name is dvs add that in apply now so that's going to upload that to the uh, video intercom reader depending on how much information it's got to send is how long this will take done so we can close that okay now let's get this back up here okay advanced functionality on the door one you can set all those parameters there we're not gonna we've been through this again before so we don't really need to set any of these what i was going to show you was under the user here if we click modify you will see under the card reader there a qr code option so if i select that and click download and we'll save that to my desktop and put qr code dave and click save that's now downloaded that I'll email that to myself now uh, and then we'll use that on my phone to get access through the door. What you can do is if you don't want to use an actual card, so you just want to issue visitors cards for that paperless thing, you can actually add a user, type in a name and under the details, um, sorry, under the credential there, under the manually input, just make a card number up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, doesn't matter. So just enter that card number instead of badging a card and having to issue a card. But it does need you to either scan a card or make a number up to link that to the record. If you don't do that, it won't work. So we'll cancel that and we'll cancel that. That's a very quick way of adding visitors and making them paperless. And what we can do then is under the schedule and template, I've already set it to 24-7. So we'll go to main view now. So under there, we can actually view the camera itself. Uh, let me just email myself off here. Two seconds. Okay, so I've emailed myself. You can see there's my QR code that I downloaded and saved. So if I start the camera view. And make that large. You will see, I'll go and present this in front of the Okay, so you can see the idea there. So it's actually unlocked the door. I've already got the IMS 4200 set to uh, trigger pop-up boxes. Um, on my other screen, it's popped up to say the door was unlocked um, via an event. So you can see through the camera view how the QR code would work. What I will do now is get my GoPro camera and show you it in action so you understand from my point of view, from a POV point of view, how that would work. What we will show you before we do this, that as the final part, is show you the event, how to link the event for the pop-up. So there's two buttons on there. There's a doorbell button, which alerts you to the fact that somebody is at the door, uh, so you can then action it. And there's actually a call button on there. So that does one of two things, call High Connect, or press and hold and it will call IMS 4200. So in the linkage action, so we go to event management, in the linkage action, there, so we've got set for access control event. We've got the all of the different options there. One of them is the doorbell ring at the bottom and we've already associated the right camera to it by selecting it. There's only one camera in the list because I've only added 
the one. Save it, and you can do that for any of the events, lots and lots of events to select in there. And then what we can do then on the e-map is actually drop the camera onto a map and the event exit the e-map if i now go and press the doorbell button one of those will ring so let me just do that quickly so it's already come up on their doorbell ringing and it's associated the view we can exit that but you can see that it's flashing um, oh, let me do it again quickly I move this out of the way you can see it's ringing I can right click and even open door from there and it's actually opened the door and remotely opened it so you can actually use the e-map to your advantage if you want I'll close the e-map down and we'll go back to main view. I can even now go and press and hold to call the IBS 4200. Now. So you can see I, it's calling 4200. I press to answer it. It gives me the video so I can talk, mute it, etc. or open the door and like you said it's there we go remotely open the door and now i can hang up so two really powerful functions in itself um i'll go and press it and if i short press it will call hike connect so if i get my phone ready let's make sure there's nothing on my phone that i don't want you to see Okay, so if I go and press it sharply. So it's actually calling IBMS, uh, the Hike Connect, sorry. So I can actually, there we go. And then I can remotely open the door and then hang up. It's getting a lot of feedback there. I don't know if you can see this, but through there, you can actually do full control. So through there, I can select the door and I can actually see all of my events for, on Hike Connect for that door. I can leave it open for a set period of time or I can pulse it. So I can say door open, Just type the password in. I won't tell you what it is, but then that's actually opened the door and I can close it. So through Hike Connect itself, it becomes a very, very powerful device. So that's 4200 and Hike Connect. Now we're gonna get the GoPro and we'll see exactly what it does with the QR code. Okay, so we have phone with QR code and what I'm gonna do is present the QR code. Authenticating. There we go, so that's the QR code done. What we can do then is also take the card I programmed earlier and badge in with that. Authenticated, and you can see here the two buttons. So the doorbell is to notify IMS 4200, and the short press does hike connect, and the long press does IMS 4200. So if I do press a short press, you can see it's actually made the request to call my hike connect account. So I'm going to stop that by pressing it again. Another short press cancels a call. So hopefully you did enjoy that. So I'm gonna take a nice little swirly around here. It's better for me to face this way. I hopefully you enjoyed that. You'll find the device very, very useful. Again, more powerful, more functionality, more products, more features than most other people out there. And the range is growing and growing and growing. Who's excited about Christmas? I am. Join us soon for our Christmas spectacular. Uh, keep liking, keep sharing, keep commenting, keep coming up with suggestions. I can only thank you all for all the support you've given us over the past uh, eight, nine months we've been doing this. Uh, and again, can't wait for the new year, some new products, some new videos, and uh, we can do a lot more with you. Keep it safe, stay safe, see you next week.